Evening guys, hope you're well. If we can take a show of hands, we'll try and keep some sort of order. We'll set an embargo towards the end for a few questions. Embargo for Sunday at 10.30 in the evening. Somewhere to start, please. Jans. Um, another hectic rolling of course, but the total package that it brings today with the build up and with every action that it has is, uh, is it becoming the complete player for you now? Um, yeah, asking, you're asking for Erling Haaland especially, no? Not the team. Erling. Yeah, today, of course, always score goals and we are, he's what he has to do. We are happy for uh, another hat trick and uh, the quality finishing and different ones, everyone. But was involved with the game today. We didn't lose one ball. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, he played an unbelievable game, not just with the goals, with uh, even, you know, defensively and offensively in terms of give an extra pass, an extra pass. So really pleased for him. But now, now like uh, officially the pre-season is over uh, because the international break started the real season every three days, three days, three days. So we'll see how he recover for this amount of games. But uh, yeah, really pleased to have one title already and nine points. Never I see the, how many points after 10 or 11 fixtures, the season start there defined. But of course, it's important for, for us after the short, short preparation for most of the players for after one again, the Premier League last season, still still we see each other that still we are there. Still, they want to compete. Still, they want to play good every time and understand, we understand better all the process. So, yeah, really pleased. And you talked about also that I mean, feels so much better than previous season. But now, as you say, it's going to be the international break 10 out of five because next time he comes back in their games every time, every three, four days. What is the plan to keep him fresh and that? I'm not a physio doctor, physical trainer, so I don't know. So, but not just Erling, everyone. So today, and again, I make just one substitution because Savino was not able to play in these three games. Playing the same team, more or less, for many reasons, because I have late people for form, because Rico deserves to play, for example, Koba CG deserves to play. But from now on, everyone is going to play because you cannot sustain that rhythm in this, you know, actions every three, four days during 11 months. So, but everyone will be fit. I know the players, look, today, Mateus, Mekanas is like Kevin De Bruyne could have signed. Uh, uh, everyone have played really good and we have to continue that way. Ciao. I'm going to ask you about Jack Grealish. She's been a difficult few weeks and months for him, but in the space of three days, back into the England squad. That's good. That's really good. Was aggressive uh, with without the ball, but especially with the ball I wanted. Was aggressive against uh, Juan Visaka and the rest and make a good actions. Yeah, hopefully can come back fit and and better that they finish today the game. Are you pleased that he's in the squad? Yeah, absolutely. All my English players, I would like to go to national team when they are fit. And the other nationality is the same. So I know how important it is. It's just I don't like when they are not, not fit completely, whatever, go to the national team. That I don't like it. But the power to have the national team, we don't have anything to say. So they command, you have to accept. Yeah. Uh, with the goals that Erling scored today and last week, do you think there's, obviously scored loads and loads of goals last, last year as well, but do you think the goals he scored this year so far are a bit more crisp? There seems to be more purpose about no, it's better. It's, it's playing much better. And everything. He feels that... There are details. I said the last press conference, finish the training session, stay half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour before to finishing short shots, first controls, and fit to a keeper. Last season, nearly even once. Not even once was there. Yet he didn't feel good, was tired, he didn't feel niggles most of part of the season. Even with that, was there. And... And at the end, he's so smart, he needs the team. And what you want to do is triple better and better to give more balls in this fi final third. You know, and I think with Rico, with Gundo, with Kevin, with Bernardo, with Makati is going to play, we're going to create that situations where they move really well in small spaces. Because the transition, the, the last goal, for example, or the first goal, Bernardo win the ball, pass the ball and finish, or the third goal with a space behind, is unstoppable. There is no central defender. Not even with, I don't know, with them. Um, with a gun, it's impossible. It's so fast, so powerful. But in smaller spaces, happen quite often against us. We need players with these small, good crosses, for example. Still, we are not 
so clever. So Jeremy arrived in the final third and we are not, mm. you know, precise enough. Like Jack sometimes too, but in small pieces, when we create and we'll improve in that department, he will be able to create, to have more chances. And after that, we know how clinical it is. So every everybody knows it. Can you just maximize all around game that Jens was talking about before? A couple of things in the first half where he come back into the field and turned West Ham over and won you the ball back for a counter attack, and then one where you lost the ball from the corner and he run back 70 yards to to go in put the ball out for throwing. This is the thing. Sort of thing that we've not seen really before. No. Normally, happen when he's happy, score one goal, and after he does, he's, he's pressing his high, is more intense. But this is the team. Always you have a rule. When you have to go backwards, nobody asks who has to run. Everybody's going to run. They will recover the ball. We're going to ask who should have run. And I think Erling is a perfect example of that. So, and, uh, and we have to do it every time and every single game and everyone. But there are players sometimes they have the transition quick or long distance, have a little problems. But this is the way that uh, I think defined this team for many, many years. So without the ball, here we have to help each other. It's not a team like run five or six for these three or four biggest stars. You see the biggest stars that we have up front and always they run uh, backwards because the, the team, especially the West Ham, West Ham always had the feeling that the danger is there. They cannot be, you can control, but when Kudus can run, Antonio or Bowen or Paqueta contact with them, the sense of dangers in your box is oh, it's scary because they are really, really, really good. Uh, that's why I have Tama said, looks like we're good, we're playing good, but this team, when well, nothing, look at the end with 2-1, we have a chance to score, and the transition could was in the post. For nothing, three, four seconds. They have this incredible ability, talent, quality. Uh, it's not just right there, otherwise that they are good. They are good uh, good players. But in general, I said, for the time we are playing this season, our level is, I think, unexpected for me. It's quite high. An embargo for 10.30 on Sunday evening, please, guys. Somewhere to start. <laughs>